Pomona and NTU. Sunjoy, the Mino family. Villanova, Morfitt Vale, New Zealand. Oklahoma, Stanford. Monash Melbourne, Kia Motors, Tokai, the Canadians, then Desire's Evolution. Then comes the Danes. San Diego's Sun Tracker and Doraemon. Sun Tracker takes a wrong turn. Now Meadowbank Tafe's Sun Seeker. Alaris. Sullus 4. And Sun Tracker returns to the course. The Puerto Ricans. The all-girls Japanese school entry, JCJC. Mitchum Girls High. Helios from Switzerland. Annesley High School. Manichi Go. Solar Flare. Trader. <laughs> Helio Dat. Le Solier. and the Russians. Kayasira is in third place and just six minutes behind Honda. On leaving the media stop at Catherine, Honda is just 12 minutes behind Beale. Beale is in the lead, averaging 85 kilometers per hour. But unknown to their team, their car is damaged and is losing ground. Dunmar a media stop and Honda has taken the lead. The cars remain in the media stop for 10 minutes, during which time repairs cannot be made, but tyres are checked and drivers are changed. Honda heads out with Beale hot on their heels. Honda pulls over and stops. It is 5 p.m., official end time to the day's racing. The car's solar array is tilted so as to catch the late afternoon sun's energy to recharge their battery. 24 kilometers back is the spirit of Beale. Uh, in the morning up to Catherine, we had a very good average and the car proved that it can perform as we have calculated and as we have tested it. Now, you're 23 kilometers behind Honda. What's the reason for that? Yeah, we had a, a bad luck after uh, Catherine. The car went through a little hole in the street and the, uh, in the, afterwards there was a, a little damage in the coverage of the wheel and the wheel touched this coverage so the speed slowed down and it took a certain time until we realized what it is what is the reason for slowing down first we thought it's the measuring instruments it's the electronics and things like that and after a certain while we realized that it must be something in the mechanical in the tire then we stopped changed and afterwards the car did as before how much time do you think you lost martin it took about 40 minutes for us, uh, the difference to find out what it was, the difference was 25 kilometers or 20 kilometers, so we lost maybe 12 to 15 kilometers, say 10 minutes. Now we can tell you that you've finished the day 23 kilometers behind Honda, yes. do you believe you'll be able to overcome that gap? Well, we have to believe, <laughs> we are positive thinking, but uh, they took uh, really then uh, advantage out of the situation and uh, they wanted to get as much distance to us as they could and they were pushing, but we don't know how much uh, consumption of their uh, battery and energy they took, so the race is still open and uh, Adelaide is still uh, away from here. Indeed it is. Well, <laughs> good luck tomorrow and I hope Thank you have you no much. more problems. Well, Honda finished the day 115 kilometers south of Dunmara and have covered the 745 kilometers from Darwin at an average speed of 86 kilometers per hour.
8 o'clock, the race start time, and the Honda Dream resumes its run. Some 18 minutes later, Beale comes through, running hard. Further back the field, the most exciting uh, uh, news, I guess, is that the uh, Aurora Q1 team is uh, very well advanced. It's quite well up the field. Has anyone dropped out? Yes, quite a number of cars have dropped out, uh, cars I guess that you would have expected to drop out. Uh, the Holy Cheat uh, didn't manage to start, um, the TR50 didn't manage to start, so I guess that's 66% of the teams from the United Kingdom who haven't made it, unfortunately. Uh, I saw uh, Professor Popolov uh, a few kilometres south of Darwin having a few problems, but uh, he was moving quite strongly prior to that. Did the Brazilians get out of Darwin? The Brazilians uh, and the Team New England from the United States are both the mystery people at the moment. They can't be found. Midday, and Beale is still in second place. Kayasira is third. Aurora fourth. Toyota fifth. Wasita sixth. And Pomona, the first of the American universities, is in seventh place, just ahead of George Washington, who are in eighth place. The competition between the American universities is fierce, and only minutes separate them. Pomona pulls into the media stop at Tennant Creek. Not only do they change drivers, they also change their passenger. Bet you want to drive, don't you, Harry? Okay. Give it a couple of blasts right now. Just got to pause this bailing. One minute. Did you get that? As Pomona pull out, George Washington rolls in. Michigan is ninth. And Kell State LA are right behind Nissan, who lie in 10th place. The race cannot be closer. 25 years ago, a solar-powered event like this would have been science fiction fantasy. Off you go. Honda has reached Alice Springs nine minutes before the end of the second race day. They have completed half the course, and it looks as though they will reach Adelaide in four days. 66 kilometers back is Beale. Kyocera and Aurora are locked together 120 kilometers north of Alice Springs. Aurora charges its lead-acid batteries. Rod, this is the beginning of day three and you're driving the Aurora this morning. What's your current position? Uh, our current position is that we're lying fourth on the road at the moment. We've got the Kyocera team about four k's down here. We could actually see the lights of their camp last night. Uh, back behind us about 100 k's, there's a gaggle of three or four cars we believe. Uh, we don't expect too much of a problem from those. Uh, from what we understand, the Kyocera team is slowing down a little, so we're expecting to uh, catch them at some stage through the day. Things are looking quite good. Now, you drove this vehicle on day one. How did it perform then? Uh, quite well. We started on the grid at 17, and uh, by the time we pulled up at the Catherine Media stop, we'd actually got up to fourth position. Um, we made some pretty good ground on the other cars through the town on the divided road, and um, made pretty good ground from there on through. The Aurora team is one of the very few competitors using extra solar panels.